<clears throat> We're down to three people now and oh. seven pretty close to the chip stack count. Yeah. Chris is a low stack with about 18,200. Greg is about 30,000. And Golf Ball Paul is about 42,000. So Paul is the big, big stack at this point. 15 seconds to start. And the blinds are going up to what now, Tony? 15-3. Okay. 1,500-3,000. So Chris has about six blinds, Greg's got 10, and Paul's got about... Right off the bat, I can see Chris on this one going all in. Says he'll play all his chips. Like Sean, Chris. Raise. Chris announces a raise. Blinds are 1,500, 3,000. 7,200 7, total. Paul folds. I'm not sure how I feel about that. Greg folds. Without going all in. That's about 40% of a stack. And I, guess right. he, I guess he's just planning on committing himself and just rolling with it. Maybe getting like a an ace ten to call, drawing three outs. That's about the best you can hope for. But the big blind, unless he was the big blind, the big blind only cost forty two hundred, and he could go in with practically anything in the flop hitting. Yeah, I'll be interested to see how these people, Paul folds. how these people, these final three players, use their stacks. And no one's no Chris one's very deep, lock. so. So that puts Chris up to about about 33k now, or 23k. Is it three grand? Yep. Paul Dack first. <coughs> Greg oh. first. Oh, I'm sorry. Sorry. Oh, I, okay, up. I was going by the way. Sorry. Chris folded action on Paul. Paul folds. Greg takes it down. Paul slowly folds. We'll see if Paul can adjust to uh, opening his range three-handed. <coughs> King, six, King six of hearts is pretty close to the, uh, the cutoff there of something you can call with. See a flop. With his stack level, though, I think what you're going to see from Paul is he's only going to play tighter. I think he's only going to play premium hands, and he's going to conserve what chips he has. More than likely. <laughs> that is absolutely fair analysis. He's got an Chris Holtz. Paul checking the blinds to make sure he makes a legal raise. 65. Raised to 6,500 by Paul. Is Paul the big blind, Tony? Um, no, Greg is. Paul is small blind. I think it's a fine raise size. <coughs> Wait, I, I was going to ask something, but I forgot what it was now. Greg might take a flop here. Did I just call? Yeah. Yep. What happened? 
Paul raised to 65 and Greg called. Mm -hmm. Paul checks. Which is nice Ooh. to see. Greg announces all in. Paul see, holds. Now Paul checked. He was the, he was the aggressor pre-flop with an ace. And as soon he as he checked, yeah, he then the other guy just takes the lead. He just looks at the flop and says, I didn't hit. So <coughs> here you go, sir. I'm out of position to you, and you can have this, which is not a good thing. I mean, you're three-handed. It's time to really pick up the pace. Paul folds. Secure Paul folds Greg calls. instantly. I like that completion by Greg. Definitely. Chris checks his option. No, I, was, I would. Oh, I bet. Definitely. I mean, if Both you players check, you can't check it out. Because now it's like, what are you repping if you try to bet this turn? I mean, it's kind of hard to. I mean, you Both still won't win, check. obviously, with his exact hand, but Ace of Spades giving opportunities for people to catch up. Hey, Chris. Well, he doesn't even have to. Queen High wins. Yeah, Queen oh. High actually, had, Queen yeah, actually <laughs> has showdown <laughs> value in that hand. Yeah, yeah, I mean, if it gets checked down and you have Queen High, you feel pretty good. And you doubt they're going to have any type of pair. I thought about it too, but I'm like, you know what, I still got a free Which card. Which is why he should bet. Right. Like, yeah, he had many opportunities to win that. that kind of interesting how Greg showed so much aggression in the hand before and then kind of gave up with yeah. the following hand. It's almost like he's not he's he's more comfortable playing against a bigger stack than somebody that has the potential to shove on them. Greg there's, folds. There's quite a bit of momentum that actually takes place in poker. You, gotta, you just got to keep at it, and people, yeah, people you, just tend to fold to you. Yeah, you want to keep the momentum. I've, I've seen it many, many times. Becker I'm just calls. constantly raising. People are just fold, fold, folding. Please, you announce a raise? Yeah. Becker announced a raise. Forty-four on top. <coughs> Paul the big blind? Yes, he is. Uh, yep, and he should be just folding. Actually, yeah, I actually really like that raise. I'd be doing like two and a half x right. against Paul. Sure yeah, I mean, give him an opportunity to, to maybe think you're weak, or you know, maybe he has a hand I mean, that he can shove yeah, with. I think you have so much more you're fold equity like when that. you bump it up slightly more. Paul. Yeah. Should we check some of the blacks? Or? First act is Chris. What do you mean by fold equity? Do I chip the blacks just gives at you all? an extra edge in putting the hand. Do I chip the blacks hand? up? Or Instead no. of like your actual um, I think uh, next percentage to win the hand, it gives you more of a... Uh, it's almost like you see the percentages like next to their hands now. It, it almost is like a bonus percent on top of that because you know like Paul plays fair, really tight, so he's probably going to fold a lot more. Mm. Or your stack is going to get him to fold. Chose Jacks. He's you just count on that, it's like an extra, it's like a bonus. It's like a bonus. It is a bonus. It's like, it's like instead of being 60 some percent to win, as like maybe another 20% of like, out of 100, you might win 60% of the time yeah. opposed to 64% of the time. Because you know Paul is folding, he's thinking about folding ace-queen. So you know like, he's going to fold so many hands that um, other players might call you with, or other players might do something to you with. So that's who you attack, you attack Paul, especially when he's in the big blind. Greg announced his raise. Because he just, he loves to fold, so six take advantage top. of it. I mean, I would, I would snap ship right now. Is that six on top? Yep. Six on What's top. What's that as a? Uh, 9,000 total. That's Greg? No, Greg raised. Yep. Now, now it's on. Oh, uh, yeah. I mean. On Chris. Like somebody's playing the Karnak <laughs> <coughs> role because they already have a win beside Chris's. Oh. Maybe Chris I don't calls. Like call. Uh, call See, a flat call. calling here is just bad news. I mean, because now Greg has the opportunity to be aggressive. If he, if Chris doesn't hit this, Ten. which he doesn't. See, now look. I mean, uh, Greg is playing correct. I mean, he's going to see bet, and what can Chris do? He just called a raise and gave away those chips. There's really not not much he can do, unless Chris he wants Chris to get folks. frisky, which I highly doubt, especially with his stack. You know, and he's short stack. He can't really afford. That's the type of stuff <coughs> we were talking about earlier. He can't afford to. To just call raises like that and then give it up. I mean, that's a big chunk of his stack each time. 
it's little things like that that will get and, you to the, the win. And on the flip side, Greg played that perfectly. Yeah. He took aggression and he kept his foot on the pedal and won it on the flop. Well, that's what you need to do. I mean, you ra he told a story. You, you Greg pulled it. He asked a question, he got an answer. And a cage. And a cage. He, he put the cage around him. Moskowitz gets a walk. That should that phrase should never be uttered ever. Moscow's gets a walk. <laughs> <laughs> a Moscow walk. Hurt the shuffle once. He wears his sunglasses now. Yeah, it's serious mode. I mean, <coughs> he doesn't want to give off any tells. I mean, and he's listening to the music from Titanic. <laughs> <laughs> Trying to avoid the iceberg. His, yeah. his heart will go on. <laughs> There we go. He's in the small blind. I'm assuming Chris is just going to give this yep. up. And Chris here's where Paul, holds. I believe, should complete. I mean, or even raise. I mean, if you. I mean, now that it's three handed, you can get a lot more aggressive. That I don't Paul agree with. I mean, that's. Wow. You're playing against any two cards in the big blind. It's. <coughs> you got to put the pressure on. You got to chip up. Especially when him and Greg are now practically even in chips. Yeah, definitely. I mean, now's the time. Well, I think Greg's got him probably now by like. Well, the, the thing about it too with this dynamic, I mean, it? it's Paul yeah. and, and Greg have, have the bigger stack, and then you have one shorter stack. So Buck when Cherry. it gets down to the big stacks to Tell face each other, bitch. they Buck should Cherry. put pressure on Buck each other. Cherry. I mean, there's no reason not crazy to, because in theory, they're going to fold a lot oh, because Tommy. they know that the short stack is going to go out soon. It's mm -hmm. a good song. They want to. It's almost like just waiting for the short stack to make a mistake and get him out, so you can play heads up. Hmm. Chris gets what? See these walks, man. These walks. Yeah, Paul folded so fast that he needs to register on the screen. <laughs> we didn't even see his hand. It's probably like, I don't know, King Ten, Ace Queen, King something like that. Two nines. Two nines. <laughs> yeah, fucking nines. Didn't want to. Didn't want to get involved. Make it six. Uh, Raised right. to six thousand by Greg. This is what I like to see. I mean, got the button. Three nines. Queen nine really is strong in this spot. Such a good hand. He's folding now. Paul's gonna. I mean, I don't see Paul doing anything. He's folding. <laughs> Paul folds. He's no B mill. And yeah. this is the exact dynamic. You know, two seats are given away. Yeah. And he. Yeah. Exactly. You gotta. You gotta punish Chris. And you gotta punish Paul. Well, Paul is just easy to punish. You gotta punish these stacks because they, there's so much riding on these next yeah. hands. Yeah. Well, and Greg has a really good spot right now. I mean, with the stacks and with, you know, he has. Chris very low, and Paul's really tight. You know, he's folding a lot. I mean, he can just really get aggressive. I mean, if, I, I would like to see him just really get super aggressive and just start, you know, raising every hand, every like single hand. Literally. Yeah, every literally hand. every hand. I mean, there's no reason not to. It's three-handed. They're folding everything. I mean, Chris can't play unless he has a hand. And, Paul, you have already seen tanks with ace-queen. So, <laughs> I mean, you got to know what's up. There's just no reason not to. Chris announces a raise. I mean, you have nothing to fear. You have a, a huge stack. 6600. Raise to 6600. Do some of them. Paul is asking for a smaller denomination, like. for a bigger denomination chip, so that he uh, can sit there and look at that. Action on Paul. Oh. 6600, so 3600 raise. I think we got enough on the table. Jack five, that's the tatter hand. Okay. <laughs> Jackson five, or as I like to call it now, Johnny five. Johnny five. <laughs> Johnny five is alive. Another spot where Chris should just went all in. Yeah, Chris just raised. Greg calls. Chris raised. Greg yeah. calls. Which I, I mean, I don't. I mean, uh, I kind of don't know about the call with Jack five here. Because look, now we'll you're in. See. Yeah, exactly. Now you're in the situation where you're doubling you, up, Chris. Yeah, you're doubling them up. You have no clue where you're at. I mean, well, you think you have the nuts. Like, you think you do. Yeah, I mean, you really do. I feel like I just made a speculative call. Well, now I have the nuts. Eleven thousand raised. Now is he, is he leading in? I yeah, I don't like this at all. Chris, all in. I believe Greg. Chris called. should be shoving here too. He did. Okay. I was gonna say because if he just calls, that's a red flag too. I mean, you're like, all right. <laughs> But then you're committed anyway, so. Yeah, this was just, that's, this is one of those spots as a big stack, you want to avoid stuff like this. It's just unnecessary giving away a chunk of your stack when you have it so good. 
I feel like it's gonna be like a three oh, and like an ace. Huh? An ace out there with king, queen. <laughs> Not seven. seven. Oh, that's it. I was gonna say. <laughs> Jack ten holds. <laughs> Don't do this to me. Yeah, see, man, that's a huge chip swing right there. I mean, huge swing. There's no, there's no reason for that. It's, uh, you're, you have it so good. You're wanting to, you're wanting the short sex to make mistakes, not be the one making yeah, mistakes. You're on yeah, I mean, your decisions are so easy when you have that stack. Paul, back first. Whenever I'm short-handed and there's a situation like that, I always tell myself I'm not in a doubling up business. Right. I don't double people up. Yeah, I mean, it, you want to make it super hard for them to get chips off of you and be the one putting oh, the pressure on. I don't think your card's ready. You don't ever want to really be in that position. One, two, yeah, but, I mean, that's poker. <laughs> I said that Greg I'm going to be if you didn't know. <laughs> that's the worst thing. Chris ever. checks. Greg checks. That queen was a diamond and it get real spicy. It would get real spicy. I think if uh, Greg Lee. Oh, wait. No, 4,500 bet by Chris Becker. Check this bet. No. I had the hand slipped in my head. Greg's got a gut shot. Greg folds. <coughs> no, if those hands were reversed, I think Chris would have called. All day. <laughs> All day. That's, uh, that's what I've noticed. I mean, Chris kind of has some devious plans Smaller. for people at times. Yeah. Whether or not yeah. it's correct, it's but he it still has a plan. Yeah, I mean, sometimes having a plan and being creative, I mean, it's not a bad thing, even though it might be the incorrect decision. Uh, it works out for you. Greg looked at his hand and said, oh, not you again. <laughs> Chris calls. I mean, the, the, stack, the blinds are so huge and the stacks, I mean, Call. even though you have a big stack, that can change really fast. I mean, Call if you don't, like, Greg, he doubled... Chris up, and now, you know, something helps, happens like that again. I look at Paul, gift from the gods. Chris checks. Look at, Paul look checks. At, oh. Look at the face. Oh, I check. Oh, oh man. Chris checks. Set and the nut flush drop. Comes so then he waits for the heart to hit, and now he's going to bet. See, yeah. I just don't know why checking yeah, the flop. Just bet on the flop and, and get as much value as you can. I mean. You bet six? Looks like you bet like ten. 6,000 bet by Paul Moskowitz. So he bets pot. Here's Hollywood. Yeah, Hollywood, I, ha I have something, but I don't want I don't want to commit right now, so I'm going to fold. This is going to make me never Hollywood ever again. Chris Dude, I don't. Or but Chris that's Holtz. why I don't know if you want. I don't really Hollywood. I'm not a fan of it. I just try to stay the same whether I'm bluffing or getting value or whatever. I just try to keep the same look because all that goofy stuff is just irrelevant. I well, think. you don't bluff any other. No, I don't ever bluff. But I mean, uh, there's sometimes, you mean if I do, you know, um, got to yeah. keep it straight. On accident sometimes. Chris On accident. Oh, yeah. All right, this is going to be fun. Oh. <coughs> I wonder who goes Chris first. Chris is, see, this is, this is how this stuff can turn around. I mean, now Chris has so many more chips. Th this is how the dynamic shifted because, you know, it was Greg and Paul had an even stack. And now, you know, Greg doubled Chris up Chris. Chris a raise. And that's going to cause a huge shift in chips here. I mean, because think about it. Chris could have had half of his stack right now. I'm all and in. Now it would have been oh. normal. Race yeah. to 69 by Chris. All in by Paul Moskowitz. I smell an ace. Yeah. I could possibly. I'm this I'm is just I smell sucks. An ace. Look. Just be sure to tell right, Paul have a happy Thanksgiving. Yeah, go ahead. <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh, oh. Oh, man. Chris with Pocket Kings. He has out think. I'll be oh. oh no straight. Oh, straight. So straight. straight takes it. Straight. <laughs> Look, Paul, it hasn't hit Paul yet. He's like, oh wait, okay, I got a straight. I have a really good oh, sniffer. No. I can smell those aces a mile away. Damn. See, now that's just unfortunate for Chris. I mean, he got the double Second up he requested, and he was in the driver's seat there. I mean, he could have... Kings really have been having a rough night. Yeah, don't, don't remind me. 15, 16, 5 here. 27 plus 16, yeah, 5. It's going to be really close. It's, five, it's really 17, close. I mean, after that double up, though, Chris he might have, like, 9K left. And 200. 19-2. Paul's out lower than we thought he was. Yeah, 19,200. Oh, yeah. <coughs> so 
I'll be like a forty one now. Fifteen nineteen too. Yep. [noise] Try to [inaudible 0:16:55.83] What is this? I can twist it. Have, take the lid off. Off. Oh. [noise] Um. Yeah, you can start pushing that down. Tough luck, buddy. I was thinking about um probably three rounds. I'm just gonna go for it. Really? Yeah. You want it outta jail? You wanna go all the way out? Yeah. Yeah, I don't know if I can do it. Too much pressure. Ooh, you got oats? Um, that's okay we can use oats. Oh, real oats. That works. Mm, you could even throw them in the like the blender even but if they're fine like that, they're fine. Oh Yeah, I guess we could chop them. Choppity chop. I was just gonna slice it up. Choppity chop. One sheep and then another sheep. [noise] Go for it. Cuz there's that one sheep that just has two stone in his hand that's just sitting there. You can actually use that sheep. Yeah, yeah. Oh, wow. That's actually really useful. Oh, you should have like Huh? Do you want it? Yeah, just go as far as it goes and then just chop it up and like that too. Yeah, like this. Like, even though the whole thing is like wood, it's actually good for chopping. Yeah. Cuz you can just like, I can chop it, it's not a big deal. Yeah. Yeah. This is like, it's actually like kinda like a wood cutting board. Oh yeah? I mean, which is fine. It's good for chopping. It's actually like kinda like a wood cutting board, but I just like, you know I was trying to find a way to make it look organized. I don't know. I could never quite figure it out. Is there a plate? Hmm? Oh, yeah. Um, actually just a wooden spatula So we were trying to make the site. Oh, sorry. Yeah, can you move that to the back? Yeah. Uh Just get this thing here. Why, what [inaudible 0:17:06.78] Yeah, just bring this thing here. Yeah, about face down. Yeah. Oh, [inaudible 0:17:07.93] Yeah, yeah. Yeah, because of this. Yeah, yeah. Cuz there's actually, you can even turn it into like a little cutting board. The one I was trying to make earlier. Yeah. Which one? This one? Yeah, you could turn that into a hand. Oh, [inaudible 0:17:21.16] You could have just made another hand or something. Yeah. Or turned a hand into a spatula. And now we have two hands Oh, okay. Sorry. [laughs] [inaudible 0:17:22.57] Yeah, right? Yeah, yeah. Hands are crazy. I remember these days. Like, before we bought a couch, we were like, "Oh, that would be fun to make." It's like, "Oh, yeah, we could do that." [laughs] [inaudible 0:17:25.97] [noise] Yeah. [noise] Next thing you know, like actually putting it all together makes it easier. Yeah. [laughs] Right? Yeah, yeah. Hand over hand. Yeah, it's actually much easier. Mhm. Yeah. [noise] And actually getting the bacon a little bit messier. But that's okay. Lemme squeeze it first. Oh, lemme squeeze that first. Aw. Let me get that big ol' bacon. [laughs] Yep. [laughs] Yeah. It's like juice. Is it? I think it's a little slippery here. It's grape- it's grapefruit. Ah. Yeah. Yeah it's a little bit, it tastes like beer afterwards. [inaudible 0:18:35.60] it's coming it's coming on loose or? Think I can tighten it? Ah. Um. Yeah, you can tighten it. I did, I tightened mine a couple times already. I'm glad there's a lot of bacon in there. [laughs] It's like three cases? Cuz we're actually moving arms around [laughs] I mean, that's a lot of bacon. [laughs] Wanna play drunk tennis? Drunk tennis. [laughs] Can definitely s- We'll start with the salad first, eh? Start eating the salad. I've done that before, it's not it's not pretty. Okay. [laughs] That's so in! [laughs] I just need a Well, we can we can all eat together right? [noise] Yeah yeah, [inaudible 0:18:58.20] but I'm going make the steaks too while you guys eat the salad, right so. No, i- it's more so me just missing the ball. Oh, okay. You don't wanna just like make everything and then just all eat together? You're so drunk that afterwards like people keep, you keep playing even though the balls all go [laughs] Yeah no, i- I feel like that's not a good combo. You wanna make the salad now? Sure. So, what we do though right now is we cut that up, cut like small pieces, like small chunks, and then just like put the whole thing on a plate. Yeah, like a ramen style. So ramen style, so what what you do is you take the, you take the salad, the salad's there, the salad's cut, you just put the chicken stock in there, the chicken stock, sorry, the chicken stock and then the the aromatics. The ingredients. Yeah. Yeah, like you mix everything together. We're stopping at nothing. No no, you don't stop at nothing. Oh, okay. No, there's a few things to note. Like, number one you have to make sure that all the water that you're using is there. Yeah yeah yeah. Second, number two, you have to cook the rice in water. Now you can touch the rice. Cook the rice as you go along the way. Right? Oh yeah, I never catch myself doing that. Mm. [laughs] Have you ever done it before? Oh, you have to slowly like like [inaudible 0:19:20.22] Oh, okay. Yeah, I did it once before. Okay, that's good. Now you can do it. But you gotta like start off slow. Yeah. Oh, okay. But steaks are fast, right? Steaks are fast, right? Ooh, we're doing steaks? Yep. Nice. Any, which Steaks are right here. I guess uh, you do the bacon first, right? uh-huh. Yeah, I'll do this [inaudible 0:19:03.76] [inaudible 0:19:03.64] make the salad, right. Put the put this put the just get the salad's prepped, and then we'll do the steaks last, because steaks are so quick, right. So How do you do your steaks usually? Do you do like the I don't think you'll like this one though. Medium rare, usually. Oh is it a song? Oh do you just do it on the pan, or do you do the thing where you like heat the thing and It's kind of bitter. No, let's do it on the pan. Keep it simple [noise] But I like it. I like I like it more sweet. Yeah. The Stella's would be good for you. Uh I mean when, cuz I've got I've got some spice. I got some Montreal steak spice that I brought. Uh, here is the I do not have scissors. How old are those almonds? It's over there. Rick, there. Nah, I don't know. I didn't b- I didn't buy 'em, right? So Oh, thank you sir. Well Only one way to find out, is to eat 'em. Scissors. Yeah. [laughs] You w- you wanna try 'em? I think we should all try. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Just a little bit. I mean I n- I need some [inaudible 0:19:45.05] Yeah, I'll I'll try. That's all the almonds she has? These are all crumbs. [laughs] [laughs] Ah, I think [noise] That's that's pretty bad. But I was like I di- it's fine, I won't I won't try. [inaudible 0:19:55.35] you a box of real almonds. Okay. Then what [noise] It was like dust, dude. If I try a flake I'll probably deplete the [laughs] [laughs] It was like, oh it's just one or two. Oh, it said to put it in a cold pan. No, no, no. Don't put it in a cold pan. [laughs] So don't follow the instructions. Yeah yeah yeah, no no. Okay. Put what in a cold pan? Yeah, cuz I don't wanna burn 'em. Nope, I be- I just checked them, like they look fine. [laughs] I was like [noise] I think we should just use a plate. [inaudible 0:20:09.36] I was like, "Yeah, sure." Why not? Let's make a, let's make a paste in there. Put, put it in a plate. Yeah, put it in a plate. Here. What are they? The old, the potatoes from lunch. Just the potatoes from this morning. Oh. Oh, we didn't finish them. No. Oh, okay. No, there were some left over. What [noise] Are you gonna use the scissors? [laughs] Um Yeah, they're still quite red, like you can see all the blood still coming out. Oh, oh yeah, I guess like bacon grease and stuff. Yeah, of course. Yeah, yeah. Um I need to bring that out of the fridge before I start eating. I know. [laughs] I'm just gonna leave this Yeah, we can leave it here for now. This clean, or not really? What's going on here? What do you mean, here? Oh yeah, I'll just clean this up. Um yeah, if you could put this in the fridge. Oh well, it was already pre-cubed. Yeah, als- I got that one on purpose. We have enough things to do. I've discovered recently that there's only two types of salad left. I think you can leave the salad on for now. Oh, okay. Yeah, I'm gonna just plate this. Yeah, we'll clean it later. Yeah, we do. All right, let's try this. Oh, that's a really big piece. [noise] Yeah, that's pretty big. Is this Can you pick out all the ones that can just cook by themselves without cut cutting? Or should I cut all of them? Yeah, you should cut all of them at least half. Okay, never mind. Let me do that. Doo 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 doo. You can be quick. Or Yeah, yeah. That's good. That's good? Yep. I can't even see if this is the right amount of space.
He might call and you might hit the flop or he might not hit, you know. Right. Because then you have aggression. And you have the button. You have the button, yeah. You, you, Greg checks and you bet and boom, you just picked up another oil bond. 1500? 1836, I think. Yep. 1836? Yeah. Yeah, that's what. Huge. You pick up 5,400. Like, obviously, they, they talk in poker about position being important. Yeah. It's literally so important. <laughs> and then people just, they don't pay attention. Well, he could have picked up that 5,400 plus if he would have called his min raise. Exactly. So plus another um, 36 on top of that. He could have picked right. up almost 10, like, you know, almost uh, almost 10K in one hand. No, we're, uh, but instead, we, I ch we checked. So okay. We got on five hand, yeah. yeah. Now why is it Chris has to be raising here? Yeah, this is this is way too passive. But Wow. Look at that. But you know Paul is very good at getting out of these type of situations, to be honest. And I mean, um, with as tight as he is, like he'll look at his kicker and he knows. Okay, I call. Paul nine. said ten thousand, Chris all said. All in. All in. Oh my. That was <laughs> <laughs> had a good holiday. See call. that's what I don't understand, is it's, it's unbelievable. Uh, out. Oh. Um, Tens and fours with a uh, jack. He plays so right, tight and so patient, Fuck. and then <coughs> I just I don't. Have a good Thanksgiving. Paul. Happy Thanksgiving. <laughs> just put it. Just I, don't, I don't get it. He just finds these. He just finds these spots. Yeah, I mean, from the big blind, I play super tight. I mean, even. Yeah. I mean, hitting top pair, you have a big blind hand. I mean, there's no reason to get all your chips in on a limp pot. Like what's what's Chris going all in with? Yeah. Do you beat? Oh. There's nothing. He, there's a chance, but you're, then you're just gambling. Yeah. Oh man, I feel sorry for Paul there. I mean, that's just a bad bad decision. Who am I? Tilted. Tilted. We are literally sitting sideways here. <laughs> This segment of the broadcast brought to you by Trojan. Then you can go all in. <laughs> Safety first. Safety first. Well, so thin, it's not even there. He doesn't have much left. Yeah, Paul is... He's going to get at least one call. Paul is on the 29 oxygen check. tank 29 right now. total for Paul. It'll tilt the world. And here's Jack-9 offsuit, but he folds King-9 oh, in the just button. Yep. I just okay. Good luck. Did they all call? I believe so. Oh man. Whoops. <laughs> flush draw. He doesn't. No, he done. can't. Yeah, he flush. can't. He's dead. I got flush. Yeah. Good game. GG. Happy Thanksgiving for real this time. <laughs> Don't leave yet, Paul. Make sure he leaves the last man money at the door. <laughs> there's our there's our number eight and nine players for next week. You guys are very mad to see Chris. Make it there with my chips. But we can play it out. Try it out. I'm waiting on you, but that's what it is. I'm not sure about. No, I'm good. Chop. Yeah, I mean they got to. We're chopping. They're chopping it up. I mean they both have a big stack. There's. There you go, ladies and gentlemen. We'll see you here again next Monday. <clears throat> you can watch either poker yeah, or sure you're gonna hit Monday Night Football. <laughs> <laughs> or both. Or both. Man, that river was deadly tonight. Can we feature a heads up second between children? Good night, Mrs. Deadly. Calabash, wherever you are. Yeah, <laughs> That's all, folks. Good night. Well, Paul, good playing. Yeah, good Have a good holiday season. Good playing. Yeah, I mean, hey. Just uh, crazy ass game. It is. <laughs> you cracked my kings twice. <laughs>